for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymaddencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And first off, how are you guys doing? If you guys, are, if you guys have been enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like. You guys do that anyways. You've been killing the like button even when I forget to ask. Make sure you comment, say what's up, and make sure to sub, guys, if you guys love the content. I hope you guys are. I'm trying a new approach. Like I said, I'm fixing the setup up. I'm also getting new lights, hopefully, in the next few days and a new lens. I'm really trying to take this time of the year of Madden where things are slower to really focus on my content, my editing, my setup. I plan to get two soft boxes right here. I'm going to make perfect lighting around me. I'm going to get a new lens for the wider look on it. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be a little bit of money, but I'm monetized now, so hopefully that could help with that. Now, first, let's get into the house rules, right? So the house rules are out. Will I be doing them? Depends. Depends if I'll be doing them. Sorry, I forgot to mention this in the video. Tossing them real fast. I don't know how I forgot to mention it. It's probably one of the most important parts of this week's house rules. This week's house rules will be much draft, which is really cool. I actually might play. I forgot entirely about that while I was speaking. That sounds more fun. It sounds more competitive. It sounds like it's going to be more, it's going to be different. I get to try some new players out, players that I typically wouldn't use. It'll change the dynamic because players won't be so fast. Players won't be so overpowered. It's going to like bring Madden back to months ago. It's kind of cool. So maybe I will try. That sounds kind of cool. So don't forget, it's much draft. I'll probably toss it in early in the video so you guys have that heads up before. I will probably put that as the first thing you guys see. So that's it, guys. Thank you. Let's get into the actual video now. Okay, so they're not up here. I forget that but this time they're usually not live, I guess. I guess that's why they're not here for me. But if you head over, if you look at my screen, I have my head up. So if you look, you see head to head house rule house rules rewards. I forget the cameras over here now. This week's house rules are half off. First and five, two attempts at a first down, get 10 total wins to earn a 97 nat color smash player. Pick one from three, one time reward. Limited time ends on April 11th. So you got two days, 48 hours as per usual. Now, the way I go about this, so it's first and five, two attempts at a first down, right? So pretty much the first down is first down, the second down is fourth down, right? Is that how I'm, is that how I'm reading this correctly? First and five, two attempts at first down. I'd, I'd imagine that I'm reading that correctly. So the way I see it, the way I would go about this is like any other week. You got to get that first down on the first play because then now you're going to have to punt. So pretty much if you don't get a first down on the first play, you pretty much, you either punt or you could lose great field position. Now, another way is that people are going to play this week very impatient. They're going to be going for it, going for it, going for it. So this is going to be a very easy week to force quits, in my opinion. So if you're looking if you're looking to get this done quickly, this is the week. This is the week to force quits because people are not staying in these games. They literally, you know how people are. They don't get one first down, they want to leave. If you score on them early and then they go for it on their second down and turn the ball over in their field territory, score again or they might just quit right there. So person, this should be an easy week. Get 10 total wins, which is very beneficial because most people, let's say a lot of people, a lot of the average Madden players struggle on this. Not average. I mean, it's not really that hard. Let's say house rules and it was six in a row. A lot of below average players struggle on this. So at least 10 total wins is a lot easier, right? Because even great people will quit against you because they go down one score they're like, screw this, I'm out. I'm not wasting my time, right? So the two strategies I have for you. First off, a below average Madden player will have a very good week with this, in my opinion just off of the ability that it's 10 total wins 10 total wins is a lot easier than six in a row i'm i wouldn't say i wouldn't say i'm great at the game i'm above average i'm not i'd get beat by a great player i'd get beat by a competitive player i get beat by a lot of weekly players but i mean for the most part i'm above average and even i struggled with it so i imagine that the average to below average kid definitely or man i should say because the majority of my people are guys older guys i should say um they struggle they, they, they struggle with it. So, and I've, I've even, I've gotten messages saying this is too hard. I can't do this. So 10 total wins is awesome. And my personal strategy for it is you go into the game. If it looks like a game, I don't want to, hmm, I don't want to like endorse quitting, but in my opinion, if it looks like it's going to be a game that goes down to the wire, just leave it. Cause truthfully, why, why are we going to play into EA's ability to keep us on this game for four like literally that's what they want to keep you on the game for two days doing this why you can get this done in two hours it is this simple you need 10 wins right you join a game it takes three minutes to get into the game let's say you score fast you force a turnover you're out the get quits or vice versa you guys are having a defensive battle just quit the game you could probably get through a lot more wins quicker if you play 10 straight full games this thing is taking you five to six hours if you just go through this by just playing it to your ability and quitting whenever 
But if you feel like you're gonna overpower them stay if you feel like you're, if you just need to quit quit no one's gonna there's no, nothing wrong with quitting on this thing why should we waste any more time we just want the rewards right this is about the rewards this, this game mode isn't even competitive they couldn't even make this game mode competitive because this game mode everyone just cares about the rewards no one cares about winning when it was six and oh it was competitive now it's not 10 total wins isn't about competitiveness anymore so would i endorse quitting in the six and oh one not really you can you lose now in this one this isn't about being competitive this is about stat count and getting to your 10 total stats of wins you know what i'm saying so in this one just play until it feels competitive and just quit at the end of the day it doesn't matter now when it does matter is if you're trying to get the 20 trophies and the six wins if you're doing that then all by all means go win it and then after that you can start doing the quitting method because i personally kind of want that 40k and the trophies at least i did if i even do it this week i'm not entirely sure if i'll be doing it now let's head over back to the madden screen because okay, so we're back in the madden screen i pretty much got all i needed about house rules out of the way now in case you didn't just watch the video i just probably posted if you didn't see about the easter promo did i say the easter promo i meant the color splash promo now if you didn't watch that i'm gonna go over real quick who i would choose you get an option of the 497s i didn't really give you guys what i would choose there i said i like them all to be honest but so these are your options right here you got miles jack a keep to lead bradley chubbs Derwin james now i'm gonna go through here so i can show you guys this, uh, the stats right so Derwin james has 93 speed 94 excel 91 in tackle 92 play rec 93 pursuit 95 man coverage 94 zone coverage and a 97 hit power now that's an awesome card i like Derwin james now he's really tall six foot three that's big what's his jumping his jumping is going to be huge on a safety card in my opinion 96 jumping so if you could chem this up properly he will have about if you power him up too you could probably get this guy to 97 speed easily now i wish his speed was slightly higher of base because for a lot of people they can't maybe before it's powered all the way up but his hit power is going to be almost max with the right chems. His speed's going to be 97. His zone's going to be close to max. Man coverage might actually be max, depending on what, if you have John Madden. So in my opinion, awesome card. I'm not going to rank them yet. Let me go through them. So I got Bradley Chubb here. Bradley Chubb's got 86 speed. Okay, he's pretty fast. 89 excel, 94 strength, 91 tackle, 92 play rec, 95 block shot, 88 power move, and a 96 finesse. Now, again, wish his base was a bit faster, but for a right end, you really can't be complaining. What's his jumping? And he can jump. Okay. So this card's pretty good. Edge rushing's important. Not going to spend too much more time because I am dragging this a little bit. I'm trying not to drag it. But I like to talk. Now, keep to leap. 91 speed. That speed's low. If you can power this guy up, though, 92. He'll get him to like a 95 speed. Ooh, that 95 speed's going to be killer. His stats will all be almost 99 across the board. I'm not even going to go through them because that speed's killer at this point in the year. <laughs> every, every wide receiver has a 99 speed. But awesome card. If he's on a theme team, which I don't want to say, but if he's on a theme team, he'll be just fine. Now, Miles Jack, this card's looking already nice. So 90 speed, 93 excel, 80 strength, 95 tackle, 94 play rec, 88 block shed, 67 power move, 81 finesse move. Now, this card can decently pass rush, but at this point in the year, probably not too well on the lineman that we're going to be seeing. But he's more of a zone guy, in my opinion, as this would I'd be using him for. So he's going to have a 75 catching, not too great. What's his zone? Why does he have... He can he can decently, like, ball carrier move stuff. You know what I'm trying to say? He can decently stiff arm and stuff. But anyways, his zone coverage is a 90 and his man coverage is 84. So that's not bad at all. The only knock on this car would be his pass rushing, considering that they kind of gave it to him and they kind of didn't. If you compare this to my, Lord, my DeMarcus Ware from Christmas looks better than this car to me. Mine is obviously they can't cover in zone, but he is 6'4". He can at least put his hand up. Okay, so now I'm going to rank them real fast for you guys. So, in my opinion, if I'm ranking them, let's see. I'm going to have to give Derwin James number one. I love that card. He's got the height. He's got the speed once you power him up. Got the hit power. Got the coverage. Pretty sure he's got decent catching too. Let me check that actually. But uh, I don't need to check it. Uh, I'm going to check it. I'm going to check it. Catching is an 81. Okay, decent catching. Derwin James my number one pick if I have to choose one. Not relation to my team, obviously, because if it was my team, I wouldn't really need any of these cards. But Derwin James, number one pick. Now, second overall pick, Bradley Chubb. You need an end. You need a pass rusher. He looks amazing. He can jump. He's kind of like Khalil Mack-esque on the other side. I have Aaron Donald, but Khalil Mack is an awesome card, and this card's very similar. Not as fast, but Kem up would be above a 91 properly. Now, third, it's pretty easy. I think if you just go by the way I ranked them, you'd know exactly who I'm picking. I'm going Miles Jack. Good card. Looks like he's almost there, but he's not. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's like so close to being overpowered, but he's not at the same time. A lot of cards, like the Tel, I'd rather probably the Telvin Smith that they added, the 99 Telvin Smith. 
I mean, I don't know why they'd add a 97 at this point like that because he's he, if he's gonna be like that, if he's gonna have those stats, he should have a little better coverage stats, better catching, and a little better speed. And he's not even that. He's six foot one, but I mean, like obviously there's taller guys. I'd probably stick with like he's like a Leighton Vander Esch kind of, in my opinion. But I feel like I even like Leighton better because of his height. Now, last pick, I keep to leave. Like I said, the only knock on this card is his speed. Everything else is gonna be almost 99. If he's on a theme team, he easily could have been boosted there to a higher rank but again if they're all on theme teams that could easily be boosted so keep Tlaib is an awesome card in every aspect besides the speed does he even have ball carry moves because that would suck if he has that instead of give him speed ball carry moves are important he has spin move juke move. okay he's even decent on the return so if his speed was just too higher i'd probably bump him up because i feel like you need that 99 speed at cornerback at this point in the game with this press would have been amazing but it is what it is guys so that's it for the video hope you guys enjoyed this hope you guys watched the other one i hope you guys are enjoying the new setup i'm trying to do here I, like I said in the last video, just in case you guys don't watch it, I will be getting two softbox lights, including the ring light. So I'll have surrounded lighting. I know I'm a little dark right here. Sorry about that. It's just because I moved my camera here and the ring light's here, but I can't put it there. It's hard to explain. I'm going to do a room tour at some point in the future, maybe closer to the, the warmer weather, take it outside a little bit. But anyways, that's it, guys. Hope you guys are liking everything. Hope you guys are enjoying the content. If you are, make sure to like, comment down below, say what's up, just talk to me, comment on the promo. Comment on the player you'll be choosing, house or whatever. And uh, make sure to sub, guys. Hopefully, we can hit 3K within the next month. It's the goal. Could it happen? I don't know. Depends. Hopefully. But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.